You know what, we're in search of a big king salmon. Hopefully something that's way over 20 pounds with a good friend, Pat Magalano from Mag's Custom Rods and Lonnie Goman from Trophy Ice Fish, better known as Green Bay Trophy. Hopefully we can put one of them trophies in the boat. Hey, have you ever thought about coming out in your own boat and trying to catch a giant salmon? I'll tell you what, today we're out in our Warrior V208. Lonnie, I'll tell you, this is pretty interesting. What a great experience it is out here. Our salmon population is awesome. What brought you out to salmon fish? You know, the bay is kind of on a shutdown with that June bait head, so uh, we're shifting gears. I've been fishing salmon for quite a few years. I had the opportunity to work on the charter boats when I was younger, and uh, the lake is looking really good, so we're uh, chasing salmon here in June and July now, and I'm really excited. You know, the cool part about today is that we had to hire somebody to actually drive the boat. Look what we got! <laughs> had to teach these we guys how to catch We got the old Meg's custom rod, hey. Pat Megalano. All the way from Lake Superior, the, <laughs> the legendary Pat Meg's up there on Standard Rock Lake Trout, eh? And it today he's driving the boat. It all started in Algoma for me, though. Hey, everybody, hang on to your heinies. I got a feeling it's going to be one of them nights and one of them mornings. Finally got one. Got a bite. You are definitely an oddball, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> nice thing. Tough for me, Tom. This is not the right net, boys. What do you mean? It's a great net. Luck oh luckily, oh luckily, I'm a professional netter. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Big kick, nice Yeah, buddy, Algoma, Sturgeon Bay, let's rock and roll. Are you tired? I can't believe I didn't wake up. Like he's so woke happens, up and you know, get two hours of sleep. Right? Hey, the thing about salmon fishing is that you go to bed late and you're up early. And yeah. now we got some great weather. No wind, hardly. Flat calm, hopefully we can locate some fish and get on them right away to this morning, so. All right, rock and roll boys, jump in the boat. Nice job. There we go boys, woohoo, hooked up. This brings me back to the old times living on the boat with my dog. <laughs> it's been a while since I did this. Woo! -hoo! First fish in the morning. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, ho, 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 yeah! Nice king. That's beautiful. You know, one of the biggest things when you're fishing salmon is no doubt the speed. And you think about that there's a lot of different currents out on the Great Lakes like this, and speed is everything. We're marking a ton of fish on the live scope. We just slowed down enough, about 2-4, boom, right off the bat, got whacked. Nice salmon. Good job, Pat. This was a high dipsy yep. back 151. So where would that be in the water column? I would say that's right down right around, uh, I don't know, about 50 feet. Okay, that's about where we're marking a lot of bait, a lot of fish. We hit 100 feet and bang, you know, a lot of times these fish move so much. There's current, there's wind. Well, it's trolling water. It was working fine when I had it. Larry's been fired from every job. <laughs> Thank you. 
that big king just came off a of dipsy. Is that pretty much the go-to this time of morning is usually your dipsy lines? Yeah, you know, we're running out of Algoma, so I really like the dipsies, the downriggers, uh, the 10-ounce or the pump rods are pretty good. You get a few copper bites right away in the morning. These fish right now are a little bit deeper. A lot of our lines are down 50 to 70 feet, and that seems to be where the bites are. And as we head out, as the morning progresses and the sun comes up, we'll start to hit that 100, 150, and, and try to stand these big kings as they move out. We just made an adjustment, dropped our dipsies down just a little bit. Lonnie just dropped them down, and I'll tell you, it wasn't three seconds later, boom, fish on. Pat's got a nice king on. That's what it's all about. You know, if you're marking fish and you're not catching them, keep adjusting. Adjust your speed, adjust your angle. That's the big thing right there. Don't get stagnant with what you're doing. I've seen, I've worked on a few different boats. I've seen guys just don't pump, just crank them in, tight drag, but... I feel like I lost more fish doing that. So I just slightly pump them. I just keep super tight line on them. Oh, oh, oh is that a freaking cow? Woo! Nice. Boom. Hey, it definitely pays to make an adjustment on your lines. You know, if you go half hour without a bite you, and you're marking fish, definitely start changing things. Yeah, as soon as he dropped that down, it wasn't even three, four minutes. Game on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Larry, you picked the speed up, brother. Woo! Yeah! Ah! Adjust, adjust, adjust. Larry, Every time you adjust, something happens. Larry just picked the speed up and bang, we got one. Come on, let's get a double. In the sky. Hey guys, we're gonna break down this uh, 10 ounce pump rod here. So what we've got to start uh, th this out is we've got a, a flasher fly uh, combination here. We've got a 22 inch lead from our flasher to our fly. The, the longer the lead, the less the action. The shorter the lead, the more action there is behind the fly or the flasher. That's generally how we do it. We run a 22 to 24 inch lead. We've got an aqua frog fly here with a treble hook. And then we've got a 40 pound leader on a, a terminal tackle uh, swivel, snap swivel. And it's about a 75 inch lead going back to what they call a rubber snubber. And that kind of takes some of the shock out when a, when a salmon takes off. And then we've got a 10 ounce ball. And we kind of rig, rigged it up with a, a two way uh, snap swivel. And then we've got 50 pound uh, Power Pro and we've got two red beads here to stop the reeling it up through the eye of the rod. Yeah, I like the 10 ounce because you can get down uh, just as deep as copper and about half of the length of line outs. You don't want to just drop it down and then send it over. You want to just feather it out, make sure it's going to clear your dipsies before you send it over on a board. I'm using my live scope here, forward facing sonar. Basically it's telling me what's in front of me and how high these fish are and how high the bait is. And that's where we're making our adjustments on everything. Typically it's a real early morning. As soon as it starts getting any kind of light, it's game on. We did not have that bite this morning. Now it seems like, again, that bite, the fish are down. We're not really that deep, you know, anywhere from 80 to 100 feet. Most of these fish are coming about 60 to 75 feet down, and that's what we're seeing on electronics. Is that gonna be the one? That's the one. All right. 
Give her all good luck, Smooch. Right now we're reeling all our lines in and just kind of one, one by one, checking everything. We had some coppers and lead cores uh, hit the bottom. We're in, you know fishing at 70 to 90 feet and on an inside turn, sometimes the lines on the inside will slow down and they'll sink and they hit the bottom and we reel them in there's some zebra mussels on the hook. So, um, so we're just checking our lines, getting them cleaned up and getting them back out and putting some different lures on just to change things up to try to get some bites on these, uh, on these rods here. Got there, Pat. Got him. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, that's a nice eater. That's a good that's a, that's a That'll eater make a double fish eater. taco. Yep. Watch the rod. Watch the rod. Underneath you. Watch the rod. The game big kick. Woo! Woo! This is a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I made a nice run, a couple stuff. hundred feet out. Their driver's all over the place. Hey, watch yourself. I'm staying right at 114 to the 80. He ain't been straight all day. <laughs> yeah. No. What do you think he is? About 14? 15? If they would have put my baits on to start with, we would have been in hours ago. That bait has been on there, one bait on there for less than 20 minutes. They want that, you guys, they want that spool. Steely. Ooh, I'll take that. Good eating fish. Nice. Good eating, nice steelhead, buddy. Nice griller right there on the grill, baby. It's probably my favorite eating fish right there. Caught that up high. All right, now this process is done. We're gonna take him to the smokehouse, which is a few miles away, and we're gonna get it all smoked. And I'll tell you, I love smoked salmon. We got a bucket of fish here, let's get smoked. We just got done salmon fishing. We cleaned up the salmon in Algoma. We ran down to Kiwani. We're gonna to go to Lafon smokehouse here and drop the salmon off. If you guys are looking to get salmon smoked in the Kiwani, Algoma area, this is a great smokehouse. Here's a piece of salmon. Ooh, right. I wanna try that. Very good. I've never had smoked fish like this. No salmon so somewhere. Good. There's the racks with our salmon in it. Oh, this is something. That is, now that's cool. That's a, now that's a smokehouse. Oh, that's man. There's one, there's three of them in here. Three of them? Okay, thanks. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Hey everybody, anytime you're in El Goma, you definitely want to stop at Northwater Bakery. I'll tell you what, they have excellent food here, great pies, any kind of sandwiches you want. Makes your day on the water a lot nicer. I'm thinking about it. Help me out. They have cheerio. Hang on. Favorite kind of pie? Yeah, Chocolate banana cream pie. Perfect. Gently, gently. Thank you. Can Heaps I, uh, of love. Said it's got a little bit of everything. Up. That's pretty lovely. No, the Zanza mint. Yep. <laughs> so good. You can see why we stop here. Mm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> hey, it's our Marine Suds moment, and I'll tell you what, today is a perfect example of the spot shine here. Look at all these watermarks I have. This really makes it simple. Light spray down, take your rag, just come right back over it. You like to keep your stuff looking new, 
Marine Suds Spot Shine is definitely the way to go. Hey Lonnie, that was awesome. I'm refreshed again. Let's go back out and do some salmon fishing. But real quick, let's talk about like you do have great lodging here for part of your packages for your fishing. Yeah, so we've been doing salmon packages this summer and also walleye and bass packages. We got a house right in Sturgeon Bay. We have some fishermen packages. So, you know, just check the website out and we can uh, definitely help you with the lodging. We have a beautiful three bedroom, three bath house right here in Sturgeon Bay with parking, a water hose to wash your boat, plug your boat in. And we have a big warehouse due to inclement weather. You can go get your boat and your rig right out of the weather. So it's it's great for our fishermen. That's awesome. Hey, you guys hang on to your hineys. We got a lot more going on here today. It's it's almost like the days when you had a Harley and you were waving to the guy on a bike. You see another warrior on the water, you just get a good feel. First class all the way from the people that ride them to the people that make them. They do such a nice job with communication. They'll pick up the phone anytime. It's it's really almost a friendship. You could be in any state, and when somebody with a warrior drives by you, you get that honk, that beep. You're truly part of a family, and there's nothing like it. Introducing Forever Barnwood. Transform your space with the warmth and character of a genuine barnwood look. Forever Barnwood offers over 200 authentic barnwood products. We are commercial and food safe. Our products are available in unlimited quantities while still providing the consistency you need to complete large projects. All of this while still looking like it came out of a hundred year old barn. Forever Barnwood, bring the history inside. I'm Tony at Leroy Meats. Uh, today we have our smoked salmon bites. These have got a teriyaki glaze on them that we sell in our stores. It's a Nippon Shokin brand. Um, beautiful glaze to use on anything you're smoking, anything you want to get a nice, sweet, tangy glaze on. Um, John and I are going to give this a try, see how it turned out. Mmm. Oh my. Nice, sweet, tangy glaze on it. Beautiful salmon flavor. I like that. Very nice, sweet flavor. Thanks, John. And you can definitely still taste the salmon. Yep. Awesome. Get him, boy. A live scope, this one. <laughs> well, there's another big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Somebody's got to drive this vessel. You got her. You got her out of there, big hitter. I'll pull this big uh, hooked, up, be, hooked up with a big king, boys. The giant. Just came out of the water back there. Woo! I'm loving it. Hey everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our friends at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Speed is such a crucial thing when you're out here. And we were going about 2.6 and we probably got about 45 minutes to an hour. We didn't have any bumps at all. I dropped it down to 2.4. Just that little bit of a difference made a huge difference. We had a hit on this one, lost it. Board went on that side, boom. All this happened in less than about 10 minutes. Just speed is so crucial. So when you're fishing walleye, you're fishing salmon, really vary your speeds till you get that perfect speed. Hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Right we got fish going everywhere. We got three on right now at one time. All big kings. Job, Woo! Job, she man. is crazy in the boat. Got another one, another one no, we got one there, we got one there. They're just yeah. big king, buddy. Woo! The kings are on. Man, it really made a difference just getting that speed dial then. Here you go, boys. Here we go, nice work. Nice Woo! King, Algoma, nice Wisconsin, king. baby. Come get yeah. them, boys. Woo, nice, nice job. job. Nice, nice, job. nice bowl. That's Real a nice one. bowl. That's a great fish right there. There's a three. I seen that fish on the live bowl. Nice. Woo! There's the only one. It's Got a good one. Could be the big daddy. Hooked up, baby. Hooked up. Let's go, baby got boy. A double, got a double. Patty Mac got one. Doubled up here. Got a smaller one coming in here. We got a big king coming in with Pat here. Kind of doing the witching hour. Uh, sun is set here. It's getting to be about 9 p.m. here out of Algoma. Later afternoon. So uh, trying to get on some big kings here. Go. Oh, 
Hey Lonnie, what an exciting day and a half we had here salmon fishing out of the V208 Warrior. You know what, let's tell the people how they can get a hold of you and enjoy some of this awesome fishing that Lake Michigan's got going this year. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm Lon up in uh, Sturgeon Bay, Algoma area. You can get a hold of me at 920-304-0282 or check us out on the web at www.greenbaytrophyfishing.com. Hey, Pat Mags, Magalano Rods, I'll tell you what, you guys check out Mags Custom Rods. Hey, we want to thank all of our military men and women like we do each and every week for the great service they have given this country and continue to give this country, along with all of our firefighters and paramedics and no doubt all of our law enforcement agents. It is a great day to be alive, folks. The best part, we're going to see you guys and gals again next week, and thanks for joining us. I was a scrapper back in my day. Me and Pat are going to wrestle for $100. So, who do you think is going to win? Cash. <laughs> Cash. He's, a, he's only a four time state champion wrestler. But you're bigger than him. Why? But I got weighed on him. So well, my my goal my goal is to get on top and lay on top of him. Well, so get it done. The lay and pray method. So we can go <laughs> clean some. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh. Throw him in the ice chest. Oh, got me in an arm bar. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, Come on, Lon, you got more muscle than him. <laughs>